right. My third attempt. I don't expect to find much, but um, <laughs> it's just a needle in a hand sack. That's what it is on the beach. Um, but some cool pelicans right there in front of me. Um, I was going to say one of the things I do like about the beach hunting is it's very... Uh, I don't have to carry my utility belt. All I really need is my sand scoop and um, my bag for all the trash I'm going to carry. And I did bring, I did bring my probe. Um, so that's about it. I don't have to carry my utility belt, my my digger, um, any container for you know coins, etc. It's just kind of simple, nice. You know, I'm even wearing my flip flops today, which is not going to be the best for digging, but. My other shoes stunk so bad, the back of my truck was horrid with the smell. And I was like, what is that? So those guys went right into the garbage. All right, let me get to it. I'm going to try uh, the dunes over there, which actually behind the dunes um, would be more wind sheltered. So you never know. Uh, I see people back there right now. It's windy today. It's about 60 degrees, but it feels like like 55 with the wind. We have gale winds today. It's going to be picking up to about uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour. So here we go. One hour later. All right, I'm on a hot streak. Uh, third penny in five minutes. Being sarcastic. What the heck? I just dug down. My hole, you can see my hole is filling, it's filling up faster than I can almost empty it. It's terribly, the wind is just uh, collapsing my hole and it's burying my target. But I was down about another four inches. This was down. I mean, this thing detected this thing. It was down probably 12, 15 inches. I can't see my screen. I can't. I can't see my screen. There, I was, was checking to see if it was recording, and it's simply just a flipping vodka cap. But that thing was way down there. Oh my gosh! And it was coming up a nice high tone too. Getting richer. Got a dime. Got a quarter. Got a quarter. So I'm not hunting in your typical area that you guys probably hunt. Most people probably hunt down there in the flat part and see where the people are congregating along the, uh, right from the wet to the dry. And I am up here on the top part of the dunes, but my, my logic was, I see all this rock, right? All of this rock up here. And this is where the big tides, I think, have pushed a lot of stuff from down there up. So I'm just up here checking out these little gravel, these little places where the uh, tide has really pushed a lot of stuff. And um, when I get done here, I'll uh, move down to the flat part again. But yeah, I'm a little richer. I'm, uh, I think I've uh, pretty much matched my high for the beach detecting um, maybe 35, 38 cents today. Well, today is Saturday. It's supposed to be, like I said, it's only supposed to be about uh, 60 something today. And uh, the wind's really picking up. I mean, it's just gonna be bad. And my wife's like, who's gonna be on the beach at, you know, two o'clock when it's supposed to be really windy? But there are a lot of people out here. It's not, not packed, but then when you look at the other side toward the up here, a lot more people there. And then there's a lot more people on the other side where they have the volleyball nets, etc. cetera. Um, I just, had a little uh, luck. I had uh, see a nickel, quarter, quarter, and I think I've got another quarter here. Um, yep, another quarter. So somebody was unfortunate enough to uh, lose a little bit of their pocket change, but I think I'm about ready to head back. So yeah, I can see where the beach, the weekend beach um, scene here would be really good to do. Um, 
course after the weekend. Or like if it was nice today and then bad tomorrow, it'd be good to come out here on the um, bad days. But yeah, I can see where people are congregating down by the uh, pier. So that would be the place to go. But Carlo said out there, way on the really king low tide, he said he found a really nice ring. And he said it was out there probably, you know, 100 yards. You never know what you're going to find. Well, this is the my cleanup from my three trips walking around Pismo Beach. Um, I know I should have gone maybe a, in a few other places, but um, this is not too bad in, in my opinion for what I got. So, and then this guy was down. This was actually in the surf. So I'm just a penny. And then these guys all ring up, and I'm assuming that it's, they're just foil. But I don't know if you guys, they come up looking like almost like a burnt charcoal or something. But I think they're just foil in these guys. But anyways, that's it. I expected to find a lot more pull tabs than I did. I actually got a really old, a crusty one that was in the surf too. But um, yeah, so that was my three hunts probably total time on the beach um one two three four five six probably six hours on the beach 